Good morning, YouTube. Um, right, today we are, sorry about the noise, testing the Beauty Bay Nude Palette. In the interest of full disclosure, I've already done this video once. Yeah, I did. Um, but I did it on Saturday and I had a migraine and I did this full face of makeup and then 10 minutes later I vomited and passed out for the day. It was a doozy. And um, when I looked at the video yesterday it, it was awful I looked off my head I was white as a sheet not makeup white like I am at the minute but um yeah and my eyes were glazed and I didn't blend anything properly my contour was just an orange stripe it looked fucking awful so I have prepped my face I am ready and we are going to try and recreate what I was going for <gasps> excuse me on Saturday now I've got some new brushes to play with. They are mostly no-name ones. Uh, this is one that I bought in the pound shop. Um, so, you know, and I've got some with like eyebrow kits. Yes, I butchered my eyebrows, don't they? Just look fabulous. But I've got like this little one, which is a defining brush, I believe. I can't read it, I haven't got my glass on. But I thought that might be good for getting in under the eyelashes. I've got my, um, this is, this is Real Techniques. Let's get my fucking glasses on. Right. I will tell you what they all are now before I start. This is a setting brush by Real Techniques and I got this idea from Nina Ubi and this is great for just wiping away after you've baked or any loose fallout that you have. Um, I am also going to be using brushes from Royal and Ling Lang Nickel. This is a deluxe crease brush. Um, I have a smoky eye brush. I have a brow brush. I have loads of different ones. I also have a, uh, what's this one? A defining crease brush, which I got in an eye bracket. It's a super, 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 super soft. My go-to fucking eyeshadow brush. This I got in Poundland. It's a no-name brush. So, you know, I don't use expensive products. If you're here for expensive products, you're in the wrong fucking place. So, first and foremost, I am going to wipe off the excess bake off of my eyelids. Now, yes, I bake my eyelids because I am getting old, you guys and creases are a thing so we just take off the excess now i'm going to start off with my default pound lamp brush and i'm going to go in with with um oh my God, undercover do you know i really can't read this today which is this one her second one for the right on the top line if you have the palette this is going to give me a really really pale base just so you know what I've got on, I've got on concealer, foundation, a bit of contour, and um, I've just got a bit of foundation on my lips, that's why they look so pale. Okay, so I found with Beauty Bay, it is best to dab to pick up, and then dab to put back down again, because otherwise, the fallout is immense. Sorry, I've got my neighbor's dogs here, so um, I'm just checking to make sure that they're not stealing my dog's food. I don't think they would, but you know. So yeah, this is just such a pale, pale shade. Just to act as a sort of base transition filler, whatever you want to call it, really. And I'm going to take that right up to the brow bone. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on the other eye. I am not one of those people that can um, do one eye and then copy it. I have to do each shade on each eye, so I apologise. What I will try to do for the rest of the colours is talk you through one eye and then like skip to after I've done the next eye, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I have this this is one of those little sponge things in a tin and these are great for just wiping off your brushes like so next I am gonna go in with which is this one on the second line on the far left and again we are just gonna dab to pick that up okay and this is gonna hopefully define my crease a little bit I've gone slightly above the crease as I have hooded eyes and when I open my eye properly you can probably see that anything 
that is in the crease is just going to disappear. So I dab it in and then swirl it and then try and blend it up. Let's take a little bit more just to give it a little bit more colour. So this is going to be a very, very, well it's going to be a nude look really. The name of the palette should have given it away. And don't forget, when you're using products like these, you build them. You know, you can't just slap it on and hope for the best. You've got to build it up. Okay, both eyes are done. And the way to check whether you can see what you've done is to relax. Excuse the towel, I've washed my hair. <laughs> and I'm, I have a lot of hair, so I'm drying it off. Yeah, once you've done this bit, then relax, all right? Sometimes it's hard to force your eyebrows for us. Frown a little bit and then just, can you still see color? If you can, great. If not, pick up a little bit more and without raising your eyebrows, do this. Don't worry if you get it all over the lid, we can clean that up a little bit later and I'll show you how you do that. Okay, now we're going to go to the other end of that row and we are going to pick up a bit of cinnamon, which is this colour right here on the very end. I can't remember if that's the colour I used before. Hang on, let me have a good look. I really can't remember. It's slightly orangey, so it might not be. And I'm going to put this in the corner here. Oh, look at that. It's nice when it goes down. Oh. Now, I'm shutting my eye slightly, but I'm not um, trying not to raise my eyebrows too much because I want to be able to see the effect. And I'm going to dab it on. And smoke it out slightly. When I'm going for a smoke look, instead of closing my eyes, it's more like... I imagine that I'm looking down, but I still look up, so my eye is sort of half shut, you know, sleepy shut. You know, like when you wake up in the morning, you're like, huh? That's what I go for. I'm still using the same brush, by the way. I'm just cleaning it off. There's me going, oh yeah, I'm going to use all these brushes. And I haven't. <laughs> Do you use the same brush? I see these people, they use 70 bazillion different brushes. And I cleaned all my brushes and I haven't picked any of them up. I might have a go with this one. This is a crease brush. Oh, it's an angle shader light and I'm going to pick up um, I think I'm going to pick up toast which is back over the other side one in from bare necessity and that is this colour here and literally all I'm doing when I pick it up is I'm tapping go tap 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 okay so you get some on the very end of your bristles and then with this because it's an angled shader there's that trying to relax again and I'm just going to define my grease that little bit more because it's a slightly darker colour yes you either learn how to um, apply the darker colours, relaxed, or you learn to walk around like that all day. And I am wedging this in, sort of into my crease, if that makes any sense. Oh, nose is running, excuse me. I'm just going to do the other eye. Now I'm going to use the same brush just to blend it ever so slightly so that the line here isn't quite so harsh this is why i do both eyes at the same time <laughs> otherwise i would never be able to match everything i've done excuse me i seem to have picked up my son's cold i hope not i will not be happy if i have okay now I'm going to get a Royal and Lanicle smoky eye brush and I'm going to go in back over the other side to warm and cosy which is this lovely dark brown here on second line I'm going backwards and forwards on this line at the moment I'm going to dab and pick it up 
that is really nice I like that a lot and then I'm just going to in the dark corner just a little bit you know this is quite a hard brush this one even though it's supposed to be like a smoky eye and I'm just dabbing that can you see and I make sure I get right down to the lash line as normal my right eye is watering like a bitch this brush actually feels a bit damp which I think it might be so I can put that one down and I'm going to pick up a I think this is a Real Techniques deluxe crease brush and just stipple where it is that smoky eye brush is quite thick which is why I think it was wet still I washed my brushes last night so yeah that was definitely wet that side weird I'm having more trouble with it on this side oh. it's gone down like a big blob that's very annoying I'm a bit annoyed about that. That brush must be a bit damp still. Using my original brush just to try and blend it in a little bit. I'm a bit annoyed about this because it's sort of gone down as like a blub instead of blending out. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that toast and just go over it and around it slightly. Okay. Okay. Do you know what? I'm quite happy with that, I think. up a little bit further with the toast. I hope that hasn't ruined that colour by getting it wet. Right, now... winning now winning is a um, shimmer this one here okay it's sort of goldy it came out really nice it looks a lot different in the pan but when I put it on yesterday it actually came out really really nice so let's oh that was the thing wasn't it if you have a lot of shadow grab yourself a small brush I use this one it's tiny this is a, um, it's like a lip lining brush and then get a bit of your foundation, yeah, and just apply that. You can use foundation, you can use concealer on one. So what you would do with the concealer is just open it up. And then just take a little bit off the wand like so and just apply that before you apply your shimmer or your sparkle and what this will do this will help your shimmer or your sparkle stay down some shimmers though will like to have a sort of base coat you know 
so you may find that your shimmer prefers going on to um, a colour. Right. I apologise if you can hear huffing and puffing and other noises in the background. My mum's mobility is not that great and she's um, walking, excuse me. Oh, checking up I've not gone on holiday that's bad right so I've picked up the um, hashtag winning and I'm just gonna apply that on top of my um, um, you know foundation that's the word this does this brush feels wet it's weird I have heard a slightly damp brush is great for shimmers because it makes them look more liquidy. Hmm. I kind of wish I'd tried a different shade for this, but um, I wanted to recreate what I was trying to do on Saturday. See, that's like, why is one eye always better than the other? You know, one eye always behaves that little bit nicer. Because the angle of your hand, isn't it? That's what it is. So, <coughs> pardon me, it's because I gulped my tea. Alright, now I am going to sweep away where I baked and the And this is great because if you wait until after your eye makeup to sort out your baking, it will take away any um, fallout. Now, I'm going to use that little itty bitty tiny brush. I got this in, I think it was in an eyebrow kit. Um, yes, I butchered my eyebrows. We're not talking about this. And I'm going to pick up. I'm going to start with that cinnamon and put some of that underneath and hope to how my eyes don't water like they always bloody do. Now what I'm doing with this is I'm putting it on that way and then I'm turning the brush so that I'm coating the bottom of the eye like wide. That makes sense. And then we'll taper it off as we go further in. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. Just to give me that sort of smoky eyed look and it joins up with the cinnamon that I've got on my upper lashes. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna pick up that toast because that is just such a gorgeous colour and I'm just going to try and get that on my lash line my cat is yelling at my mum who is huffing and puffing away up and down the hallway her mobility is not that good but she insists on trying to walk every day just to um, you know keep her hand in oh I like I like I like it like it like what do you think Wow, that makes my eyes pop. So, that's all I'm going to use for now. I've got so many shades in here, guys. I just want to play. This is going to be like one of my most favourite palettes, I think. Really, really like it. So, I am going to put that there. Now, this is my, this is my little tip. This is my little tip for you. Do you blush your next? So you go dab 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 and do you find when you've just washed your brushes right this is something I, I, I often say that you need that just that little bit more product because your brush just seems to eat it if you notice that now I like heavy makeup obviously so I use a fuck ton of blush and I'm going to bring that up here 
subject is a bit like a bronzer just to give me that little bit of colour because you know and then if you're doing a highlight do your highlight as well and then I'm going to tell you my trick uh, I need this brush this is just a smaller brush and I've got a nice little white highlight so I'm going to get that and just stipple that there for a little bit of colour oh yeah baby and don't forget the most important section is your nose anywhere where you might have shoved a little bit of highlight add this now grab yourself ignore my cat she's yelling because she wants to go out and then she changes her mind because it's pissing with rain now i'm going to use a brush to pick up a little bit of that highlight and just put it in there I must get a cream highlight actually because I think that might sit just that little bit better in that part of my eye and then I'm going to sweep it there I know that eye looks slightly darker but that's because that fucking eyeshadow wouldn't blend right now now the trick Get your setting spray. Get your sponge, get your flat part of the sponge. Spray your sponge. And dab. Go all around your face first. a little bit more and go across the eyes and you do this before you apply cream products okay now if you're 100% happy with that because obviously you will lose a little bit of your powder to the setting spray if you're 100% happy with that move on to your cream products like your mascara your brown mascara your lips all of that lot and um, I'll come back when it's finished and my hair's done and we'll see what I look like because I'm gonna look fucking gorgeous okay we are back um i have released my hair from the towel that it was in um <laughs> so, just needs a bit of you know i have done my brows my eyelashes um i just had, wear black mascara uh, i can't do lashes because i wear glasses and on my lips i have l'oreal um l'oreal paris infallible 24 hour lipstick in the shade 117 perpetual brown i love these lipsticks i wore this lipstick saturday when i did this last time and um like i said about 10 minutes after i did the video i said to my mother i'm gonna go lie down and i went upstairs and i laid down for about five minutes then i got up and i went and i was sick quite badly sick and then i washed my face i washed all of my makeup off and um went back to bed when i got up at 3 p.m this lipstick was still in place it's amazing part of the trick is to moisturize and exfoliate your lips i exfoliate my lips at least once a week sometimes twice and i moisturize my lips twice a day okay so that is the trick to longer lasting lipstick um there you go i hope you like it i hope you like how it looks i do i'm really really pleased I love this palette I really do I've tried two palettes now this is the second one I tried the midnight palette as well that's what it looks like okay they all look the same just with different names on them and they're different colors midnight is blue fiery 2.0 is red earthy is green and bright is fucking pink. Oh, fucking pink and I am gonna do them all for you so I hope you found this helpful any comments questions suggestions feedback they all go down there that's where you'll also find the like button and the subscribe button and the little dingy dingy bell now i know you're probably a bit fed up with everybody going ding the bell ding the bell but it really really does help because youtube keeps screwing with the algorithm and just making life difficult for the rest of us so if you hit the bell you will hopefully be notified when i upload new content i would love if you subscribe i would love if you would hit a like i would love if you left me a comment it's all 
traffic on my channel and I want to try and build my YouTube, my Instagram, my even TikTok, which I don't know much about, but um, I would never ever join Patreon. I would never ever make you pay for the content I put out. If there's anything you want me to do, anything you want me to have a go at, by all means, leave a suggestion down below. I'm game, I'll have a go at it. As long as it doesn't involve like cutting my hair or something like that, because that would just be a bit weird. Okay, take these guys, and I will see you probably in a day or so, maybe tomorrow, and we'll do another palette. Have fun, guys.